Hi, in this video, I will explain you how the payment trend has shifted in India between April 22 to April 24. How people are paying using credit card, debit card or how people are withdrawing cash from ATM. Let's understand all these things. The data source for this has been taken from RBI. This link will take you here which has data for many years. You can go to any year and you can say that, okay, give me data for that particular year. It will give you data which you can download each Excel and you can consolidate. I have already consolidated this data and I'll be using this tool extreme ML to do the analysis. I'll put the link of this particular blog in the description of the YouTube and I'll also be putting this YouTube link on this particular blog page so that if somebody is directly lending to this particular blog, he can know that how it has been prepared and how to interpret this. So let's go ahead, just see that how the tool was used to do the analysis. So it's very simple, you, we just went ahead, got after getting that data, we just read the data in this particular system. So let's read the data in this particular system. And after that, I'll have to Excel. When it is open, it will not work. So let me just read this data. And after, I'll just say that everything is fine so that it can read the data. In few seconds, we are here. So let's just go ahead say that okay we are interested in uh, month over month study of the total credit card purchase value and we'll take a look at the sum of the sum of the total credit card so that all bank related credit card purchase can be summed up so here it is giving you the month over month purchase which you can see it's a upward trend if at all you want to convert that into numbers, so 22 th point something, 22 point something for the fifth month, something like that, and want to put a, calculate a cumulative growth rate, what we will need to do is just take the another variable that the system has generated, which is YYMM, which gives you a number kind of graph. And here we will say that give us the cumulative growth rate. So what it will give us, it will give actually April to April, what is the growth rate that we are getting CAGR for that two period, it is actually 17, 21.8. So industry usage of credit card is showing a 22% jump year over year. With that, you should be pretty clear to understand this particular blog. So this blog is telling you that on an average credit card usage is showing a great jump in India and people are buying more and more on the credit card. At the same time, people are using less their of their debit card. People are using their debit card to make purchase uh, less. They are actually, it is actually showing a dip of 18% year over year. So people are not using debit card that much for the purchase. Cash withdrawal in a country where population is increasing, number of card is increasing, but from ATM using debit card, the cash withdrawal has actually gone down. You can see a dip. The dip is 3.7%, but considering a country where population and card is increasing, it's a significant dip. And if you look at month over month, how much people were withdrawing earlier and how much we are, they are withdrawing now. So earlier people were withdrawing 3,100, now they are withdrawing 2,730 rupees kind of. So debit card usage has gone down. Cash withdrawal is almost static or has reduced. Credit card usage has gone up. And the second place where you can see a huge jump is actually UPI. UP, number of UPI in India has shown a constant increase. Only this month, like March to April, it's showing a dip. And this dip is primarily because Paytm, which was 3 crore 55 lakh 
UPI is showing zero here, and AU Small Finance had shown a seventy percent dip in their number of QR code. So that's how it is coming. I will suggest you go to the blog and you can see all the number on your own. I am not reading everything. Thank you for watching.